What's up guys, Crazy Black and 108 here and I'm back for another video. Today we're back for episode two. So I mean it's uh that's a good I don't I've never really made it past like one episode of any like series in this channel. So um I started first last week, so I'm like you start first this week, Lance. Alright. I don't know if this counts as a new pickup or not because I opened them and played in them. Um we got the Jordan 32s all red first release. Um I don't quite know what to say. It was not quite what I expected on Thursday. They're a little heavier. The fit's pretty good, but it's it's definitely different. Um, the laces, as you can tell, when you get look close at them, they're a little not even. You know, they're not a smooth lace. Um, cushion's pretty good, but as you look at the bottom, it's really rounded. You can definitely feel that in the heel. Um, you know, it's just not quite the feel I was expecting. Um, cushion was pretty good, pretty even. Grip seemed to be pretty good, but it just it seemed like something with the heel counter with the way the laces were it wasn't quite the lockdown on my foot that I was expecting um, you know, I think I got to try them out a little bit more but you can see just from one game there's some, a little bit of wear on those treads you know it took a little rubber off yeah so I'm um, noticing myself too which is surprising time. usually there you don't have much trouble with that um, I don't know good details got the launch insoles which is kind of cool um, sturdy shoe just like I said last week we need to get a scale or something because these were a little heavier than I expected especially since most of the weight seems to be back through the back of the shoe it's a little stiffer than I expected yeah um, I figured with the zooms placed in these but like yeah this is this this does feel like heavier in hand I mean but you, like I guess I don't know I don't know why I was expecting because for like even like a size 12 this feels pretty heavy compared to like I think the 31s aren't this heavy are they like I, I, I had to get them out. The, amount of feel. I think the evenness through the shoe, um, you know, it's a good fit through the heel, but I think it lacks a little through the forefoot. Um, no slipping. I mean, you're pretty much locked down right over the top. It's just, it's really hard to tell exactly what you're lacing up. When you pull those laces, there's really not anything you're pulling. Um, it doesn't seem to be anchored down too much. Um, interesting. I will probably buy a pair of the lows and see what other colorways come out. Um, good shoe, just I think it jury's still out a little bit. Um, I don't know. Price tag 185 is what it is. I mean, you're gonna have to pay that for a new release Jordan. So yeah, box no. is a little different too. I don't know if they're all gonna be that way. But you got the all red box. Um, it's got the logo with nothing on it. Um, had 31 on the paper or 32 on the paper. I think the other ones probably won't have the red box from what I've seen. Yeah, because I'm not entirely sure. I, I forget looking at what they look like for the for the low top ones uh, in terms of how the box looked. But that's actually, I don't know, I dig that. I love Resica. That's pretty cool. I did that for a box still. Obviously, you don't buy them for the box, but you don't want to get them smushed when you stack them up either. Hey, that's fair enough. Um, I mean, speaking of like buying stuff for the box, I've already unboxed boxes on the channel this week, but I can at least show you guys what they look like after I played them for one day. I mean, I, I like I said, like the box, it don't matter that much, but <laughs> I mean, it, to me, it kind of speaks volumes about the whole uh, Rose line itself right now. Picked up the Rose 8s, as you guys all know. Um, you can kind of see already where I start playing them, how there is a lot of, uh, I had to, having to break them in, the, it, there's a big difference between like this air mesh uh, with this like these fuse overlays and the prime knit obviously um, so they were a little stiff at first I still need to break them in some I felt my I don't know if it was because of how my how I had them laced up or what my foot slid and I think it was this foot foot uh, slid in the footbed once but um, I'll plan them a little bit more so they work out the traction I was on a really dirty floor the traction wasn't amazing but it wasn't awful it still stuck um, I'm trying to see if my other one it's much worse no, my, my left one actually looks a little bit better. You can see there's still some creasing on them a little bit on the side. But I mean, that's what's going to happen you're going to play in them. Uh, but especially with a synthetic uh, and with a mix of a fuse and the mesh, it pops up really easily and you can see it very quickly. And you can see the floor was pretty pretty decently dirty. Um, but that's my only pickup for <laughs> the past week. And I don't know when my next pickup will be. Uh, I'm trying to, I might ball some crazy explosives. So we'll see how, we'll see how that turns out here pretty relatively soon. Alright, I got a whole stack over here. This would be my uh, bargain buy of the week. 
finish line end of season sale. Got them with the employee discount so they were cheap. Then the sale went off and they actually went down lower. So these two old school Atonics, I already had the one color so I obviously didn't buy another one but I got two more. Um, the Dream, Dream one I think is the actual name. Um, right now they're $29.99 on finish line. I would call that a pretty awesome deal. Um, the other ones I had were quality leather wise. They're pretty sturdy. Got I've the old school. Um, kind of funny because it has Akeem the Dream, which if you know much about Hakeem Olajuwon, when he first came over, it was A-K-E-E-M. Um, after a little bit he explained, I think that it was with an H, so it changed, but I don't think he told everybody right off the bat. So the first cards you get have that. Um, it's an old school shoe, that's pretty much all you can say with it. Um, good details, pretty heavy. Uh, box tag says 120. I mean, if you can get it for 29.99 or grab all three and use a coupon code, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Um, definitely something different, but you know, old school vibe. Wouldn't recommend playing in them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, pretty authentic with the tags. Yeah. You don't see many atonics. Um, I've never even heard of this brand before. Yeah, they it's have a lot of old school. The runners, I think they've been pushing. It's called the uh, Trans Am, I believe. Hmm. Um, and I then actually, Elijah one had a. The main shoe I always remember was the Spaldings. And it was just one that you get pretty cheap. Um, I think, I don't know if it was Kmart or one of the. Like stores like that always had them. There's the first one. The second one I think is a little bit better. Same box. And I don't know why when I see multiple pairs for cheap, I always just go and buy them all. Oh, I like yeah. that one's pretty nice. I like this one more. Black and white looks nice, but you know, anything with red and white or black and red, I can get behind. I mean, it's thick leather. Yeah, is it all leather inside too? Leather lining? That's yeah, awesome. Um, if you could imagine trying to play in that, it would oh. get so hot and then <laughs> probably melt, and the shoes would probably just slowly you fall know. apart with you. Yeah, and you can tell what they have. If you pull on the sides, you're going to get that heel locked down, which is something I wish they'd do a little bit more on shoes. Personally, I could go for a little more leather and weight with some shoes rather than all the lightweight ones, but not bad, you know. Finishline.com, $29.99. You won't find a better price. Uh, the third color is like white with black, red, and a little yellow, like an old school Rockets color. Uh, I think I got that maybe. It's an old release. The box looks the same over there. Yeah, it does. Um, I think I paid maybe 60 or 70 then, but I don't think a tonic tried as hard on those. All right, and then we got this monstrosity box. Um, in the clothing, had to order Great Britain on these. I don't know why they put it in a bag and then a box. I was a little confused. I don't think they're special packaging. I know no one is prepared for what's in this box. I haven't seen it in the U.S. yet. Um, I'm trying to get all the, the colorways. Kind of a waste of the box. I'm not even going to open that, but they send some sort of card receipt. My personal favorites, I'm trying to get them all. Shack attacks. Um, had to make sure I got the UK size conversion, so I got the UK level for the US uh, oh. That would be the Shack Attack Iverson inspired colorway. Pretty awesome leather, like usual. Yeah, that's pretty um, dope. Big, big shoe, big tongue. Got the hang tag there, 25th anniversary. Um, I've just been trying to catch all of them. Um, I'd have to look and see how many pairs I have. Maybe 12, 14, 15. I think the only ones I don't have so far are the uh, yellow fusion ones, and I'm just waiting for them to go on sale. I could have got them for pretty cheap on Reebok, and then they took them off sale, and then. Uh, I'm waiting for the finish line to drop them down, so I'm not spending 160 bucks on them. I forgot this to have carbon, this is a carbon fiber in here. I totally forgot that. Yeah, it's just a shoe I really, really loved when I was little, but obviously never had because they were not too cheap. Um, and there was, really weren't many original colorways of them. Um, 
a little unique. Most people don't have that, but I forget, but how long was Shaq with Reebok? Like in terms of like the sort before he started doing his Shaq brand of shoes? I know he at least had the four shoes. Um, and then you have the, uh, my brain just completely went blank. The Shaq Gnosis, but he oh, okay. had some other ones too. It's just a lot of them aren't technically Shaq shoes. So I'd have to look up and see. And then he obviously did his own shoe brand and sold a lot that way. But I always thought the Reeboks were pretty awesome. I like that carbon fiber on the bottom. And I really like the pump. So that it, was that. It just made me think about it because I um I bought 2K today. So um, I got the Legend Edition, not the Legend Gold Edition, and Shaq's on the cover of that one. So I was like, oh. I just thought I was thinking, but I think if you get the gold edition, he's in his Lakers jersey, it's an SB box. And if you get the, the the regular legend edition, he's in a Miami jersey, I didn't pay that much attention. See, I liked Shaq when he was young, and then I hated him when he went everywhere after else. He left Orlando. He just kind of got big, and I didn't like that style. I liked him when he ran a little more. Uh, next one we got off sneakers. Not exactly the color I wanted, but uh, the Bengals game day shoe. So, got the Supreme. Air Force Twos. Um, got some Pretty. orange laces in there. Red insole, Supreme on the tongue. Hang tag. Decent. I don't think retail's been worth the darn on this, so not that that makes any difference. What's but the heels say? Like? They both say world. World famous. Oh, world famous. That's dope. Should be a pretty sturdy shoe. I don't know. I end up with a lot of orange shoes, but I don't really like orange, so that's a mystery we'll never solve. <laughs> I kind of know that feeling. I feel like I feel like usually like there's always a rose color that comes down. Like I don't really want to get this orange one, but it's like the only one available at the time. But then like the All Star one still have a special place in my heart, of course. And then I think the last pair of orange ones I got was the Sevens. So prime that yeah, the prime ones I played in for a while. All right, and then we got today's pickup. He was with me. He went to the mall. Picked these babies up. Pretty darn blue. Is what it is. I don't know. They didn't sell too well in Lincoln, Nebraska, but that's okay. <laughs> they said <they> it. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh because I saw people on Fabra asking for anyone to have these. <laughs> they look like some of the other stores in Omaha sold out, but yeah, it smells pretty good. Got that new shoe smell. Pretty strong though. Oh yeah. Um, Blew up your sinuses. Standard. Got the employee discount. Wouldn't recommend paying full price for them, but. Each of them. Is it is anything known for sure? You have Jordan brands to actually go and drop prices next year. I don't think they'll drop prices. I think they'll limit more production and they won't sit. I mean, they know what they're doing. They've got numbers for years and years. So it's really just a matter of. I got to brag. What they want to do. I got to brag for like the couple like weeks on the last. It won't be for long, I don't think. But uh, the fact that Adidas did get to push past them and was it just footwear? For like now, then U.S. footwear, US sales. footwear sale, sales. I'll uh, I'll take what W's that I can get, even though it's not. I'm not. I'm not sure how long it's gonna live. I'll be honest, but we'll find out. They should be able to beat Jordan Brand. I mean, Jordan Brand doesn't sell soccer cleats. True. Yeah, I mean, running True. shoes. Everything. Yeah. It's it's a little funky comparison, but Adidas has definitely been on the rise, trying their best to. All right, got these from. Trophy room again. Saw they tweeted the link to sell. Didn't get an 11 and a half. Got or I got an 11 and a half, not a 12, which is fine. That box is super heavy. Um, <laughs> Public schools. Yep. So we got a big sturdy box here. Also got to back close. Beat up a little bit. Um, I just got shipping notification. I should be getting another color, but. Public school in New York took a long time to ship, so it hasn't left New York yet. I got the shipping notification today. We need leaders. Jeez, this is really nice. Quite the process. Well, these were only 190. They actually charged me 230, then realized it wasn't the right price, so they refunded me. And this is 190. This for, is 190 for all this. Yes. And you get robbed if you buy a regular Jordan release for 190. That's all I can see. It's a nice bet. I don't know what you do with it, but that's all right. So there we have the 50. It's a money bag. <laughs> it's a money bag. Um, obviously, they changed the laces. Um, laces on the outside instead of inside, like the normal 15s. I think they scooped this tongue out a little bit more. 
got the Public School New York on the back. Pretty decent shoe, good quality. I know most people don't like 15s. Um, I've never seen decent. a 15 in person. The, uh, I bought the 15s back when I was my first year in college, and that's what I hooped in. The, they were kind of bricks, but they were actually pretty comfortable. They're around here somewhere. They just have slowly deteriorated, so I got a, another replacement pair. Right. Last year, all blacks. But next time we come, I should have the uh, black leather ones. They were a little bit more expensive. They uh, have a lot more suede. It doesn't have the woven, but they kind of switched up the woven material a little bit on those. Some pretty good look, I think. Yeah, I think like I mean. I, I can see why people don't like this shoe, but I can also see like why I kind of find it cool. I find I, you know designs like this I kind of find more unique. Say they got that box. Name. See that shape, right? You know, it's amazing. You see that how they have that? Right. <laughs> they have the little zigzag for the tongues. <laughs> oh no, really? I didn't even notice That's that. That's pretty funny. You know, that shows you if Jordan wants to, they can do it and, and get you a decent box for that price. You know, all the retros for 190 when you can get one like that, just at one price, kind of cool. But, yeah, that's quite the packaging and I'd say 25-30% heavier than a normal release. Yeah, Wait. that box is just super heavy. All right, here we go. You can see my special tape it was on my speed game on the computer all morning <laughs> two weeks ago. Got lucky. Drum roll for which color I got. This one is the white, this is the blacks. Here's a sticker. Thank you, Undefeated. Nike Air Max 97 OG Undefeated. Wow, more limited white colorway. Uh, wow. It looks white in the pictures. Obviously, the color description is bone. No, not bone. Sale, excuse me. Oh. So, different colored laces. I'm sure that patent leather is not going to hold up too well without yellowing, but it looks pretty good right now. Right. Looks like resales. Pretty decent on these, but I don't know what I'll do. I just haven't been able to get the silver bullets or the gold colorway, so... I've been shooting for 97s for a while, and I didn't really like the new school ones. Yeah, I'd never seen a 97 in person until today either. These are cool. I dig this. Kind of Gucci colorway. Yeah, those right. Those laces are definitely better. Oh, yeah, those. those. Yeah, I like those so. way more. This was so, wait, so was this the Air Max bubble that they, that they had on when they first, first came out in 97? I can't remember. Different? They're so on the new releases they've been doing the old school one and they have one that's like the it's a little bit remastered one and i don't know which one they use because i haven't compared it okay um i know the big thing was the old ones used to have psi is written on the back and the new ones don't or some of them do i can't keep track and i haven't been able to get all the ones i want to compare um you know and then with the 97s you get the different layers of 3m and everything else so there's been just so many colors released and so many different materials, it's hard to keep up on everything. Um, I tried to get the blacks, but failed. I thought for, my main goal was try to get the whites, and then I figured I could scoot the black in the cart, but I wasn't fast enough, and then I couldn't get <laughs> the right. last one here. Sneakers and stuff with their crazy packaging. Is that like just a bag that's wrapped all around it? No, wait, this is how they do it. Oh. They have their outer stuff. That they tape. And then they don't use a box, but they use like corrugated cardboard. Okay. So it is a box. They wrap the box up inside of that. Yeah. And they get them pretty tight. Yeah. It's just once it comes out of there. Oh, 
in ours. All right, so we got another shack attack. These are more exciting. Uh, like I said, I had these in the United States, and they just had these on sneakers and stuff. They just had the other ones on end. Celebrating his shack record. I don't know if that's supposed to be gold or platinum. I think it's platinum. Platinum, I think. Dang. Yeah, those are pretty. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't seen anybody with these yet. I haven't been able to find them, so I just did it and ordered them. 25th anniversary. Yeah, and they've got the different backs. The Shaq oh, logo oh, and then the other one from the album. That's cool. That's actually really cool. That's crazy. These are dope. I can, I don't know. Jeez. Yeah, and Reebok goes all out quality wise. You can't really, I mean, if Nike did something like that. You know, they're a little beat up, there's a little glue, but it's kind of hard when the whole shoe is like a big mirror. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um, this, this shit brighter than my future. No, I hope not. <laughs> but, uh, dang. Yeah, that's a crazy presentation. But, yeah. Sometimes they put stuff on insoles. I don't think that one has anything special, though. Except what What's Shaq that? Logo. Shaq logo, is it that one? Or is it yes, that? Yeah, it's that one. Okay. Does that one have the other logo on it? Or does it have the insole no, eyes? it's the okay. same. Same logo? Yes. Okay. So there you go. Well, dang. I don't think anybody has it. I haven't seen those passed around anywhere yet, but... I can. I wish Reebok would just stop releasing them, because I'm kind of getting tired of buying them. <laughs> and if they don't release them in the United States, I can't get them for cheaper either, so I gotta pay the, pay the price to get them. But they ship fast. I ordered Sunday and they got here on a Wednesday, so. I can't even. Sweet. I ordered my roses on like a Thursday. They got here on a Thursday. It took them a week. I mean, not that bad, but like, come on now. Those are dope. I dig that. Those are sweet. Is that your last pair? Yeah, that's your last pair. Alright. You got any releases you're looking forward to coming up here soon? Oh, yeah. I got one more for you though. I just dug them out from over there. Oh, okay. With the announcement that they're uh, bringing back out the free wells, I figured I'd give you guys a little preview of a old pair I had stashed over here. Confidential. Dada basketball. Got the Lexani. Still got all the paper in here for your viewing enjoyment. I don't know what happens if you go to www.lexani.com, but. That's where you can get them. That's where you go to get them early if you want to. Was that the receipt? I got these on 114-2005 for $38.18 with my visa. <laughs> Still got the paper. Still got all the tags on. Look at that. Little yellow on the wand, but not bad. I want and to if you don't know how they spin, like countless other people, you don't just hit them on the floor. They got a pump in the heel. Uh, maybe they don't even work anymore. The one does because I had them spinning a few years ago. You want to try this one? There's such that one. Pump can't go defective. Maybe they have. There you go. Get that near rim spins. I feel that. Jeez. <laughs> these are, like these little. <laughs> yeah, well, they went all out with everything. Let's see how. I don't know. Let's see how much they go all out with the re-release. Do they see how much they're selling them for? When they, when they come out. They were one no nine ninety nine last time. So got a little crack on the tongue though. Oh yeah. All right, good. I might have to grab a new pair. Well, I've got an excuse now. <laughs> I even got the silicone pack of silica gel in here. That's about funny, but not too out of the ordinary for something like that. Basically, it just has a bladder pump underneath there, and when it steps down, it's got a tube that comes out and oh, shoots it's... it around. And oh, if you okay. want some more data, these came out a couple years ago. This would be why they should not re-release these because these babies were super cheap. Remember 
those babies. I actually do remember seeing C dubs. These. I got these super cheap too. Yeah, these came out to be thirty nine dollars and nineteen cents in like two thousand thirteen. I'll say I feel yeah, like the Chris Webers. Wait, what store do you get these at? Are these at Crossroads? Because I feel uh, like I, I had to order them. Okay, we'll say I feel like I no. order them from Westroads, but they got shipped from somewhere else. I don't know. <laughs> I always like those though. Those are pretty cool with the reflective. You can see yourself in them. Like a young C web. Right. But those failed miserably. I can't imagine that a re release of those doesn't fail miserably, also. No, because. But they're got, pretty cool. He's got the spinners on them, Lance. You got the spinners on, think, you know. I don't even think people do that anymore, do they? <laughs> uh, people I that are out of touch do. No offense. <laughs> I'm not trying to be offensive to anybody, but. <laughs> you just offended your whole audience. Hey guys, look, if y'all got chrome spinners, I feel you. I'll, I'll meet you in GTA 5. It's all right. We can uh, we can pull a heist together. Then you can bring me up to your level. It'll be all good. It'll be all good. <laughs> I totally forgot you said you were going to pull those out. <laughs> well, I, I've always got little surprises. So. Hey, well, there we go. Um, Well, dang. Is that, is that, so that's everything for today then, right? That's everything I got. Well, again, guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, let us know what you think. Uh, leave your comments down below. Also, uh, one of these days, we'll just have to start randomly grabbing things that we think people will be interested in to, to show from here and go around because there's, I don't know, maybe we, we should just do like a 360 of the room just to be like, what you want to choose from and let us know. But I want to thank you guys for watching from uh, Lance and I. I'm saying peace. Thank you. See you guys around later. Bye.